There are several skyscrapers in Europe besides those in Paris and London. Poland has 56 high-rise towers that are at least 100 meters tall. The Warsaw Tower is the tallest skyscraper in Poland, with a height of 310 meters. It was once believed that Poland could not build skyscrapers. However, the construction of the Warsaw Tower was a reply to all those who underestimated the country. Stay till the end to discover the safety features of the Varso Tower. Welcome back to our channel, Build to Innovate, where we provide facts about mega projects worldwide. Before heading on to the video, make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell icon so you may never miss any of our updates. Warsaw has been open about constructing more skyscrapers than any other European city. There are currently 25 structures in Warsaw alone that are taller than 100 meters, and several other skyscraper developments are underway. These developments will help in redefining the appearance of this capital city. Compared to most Polish cities, Warsaw's cityscape is mainly futuristic, with huge glass skyscrapers rising over historical structures. This is a result of Warsaw's deep and extensive history. Warsaw skyscrapers are the result of the restoration of the city damaged in World War II. It is now one of the fastest growing cities in Europe. Warsaw isn't the tallest tower in all of Europe. Russia's Latka Center still rules the world at a height of 462 meters in St. Petersburg. If the UK hadn't voted for Brexit, Warsaw Tower would nonetheless be scraped in as the tallest skyscraper in Europe because London Shard has an official height of 309.6 meters, which is 40 centimeters shorter than Warsaw Tower. This way, Vaso Tower is the second high-profile skyscraper. The building is located on a 4.3-acre site that was purchased by the developer, H.B. Revis, in 2011 for about $36 million. It was originally known as the Tmielna Business Center, but the project name was subsequently switched to Vaso, which references Warsaw's Latin name, Varsovia. In October 2017, a 60-ton glacial eccentric was discovered at the Varsow Tower construction site at a depth of 10 meters. It was removed with the help of a crane and shifted to the field of Mokotov, where it resided next to the National Library. In the coming years, it will be redeployed and put on display near the Varsow Tower's entrance. Construction on the Varsow started in December 2016, after the engineers received a building permit. The building's height and congested location suggest that engineering and construction will be difficult. Vaso Tower was first unveiled in 2017. The original goal was to construct a 130-meter-high skyscraper, but eventually, the building's total height was raised to 310 meters, including an 80-meter spire that topped the structure. It is situated in the city's financial district, adjacent to Warsaw Central Station. The Vaso Tower features a rectilinear structure made up of three components that merge into one at its 230-meter highest point. Foster & Partners collaborated with engineering company Burrow Happold, architecture and construction company Epstein, and real estate developer H.B. Revis to design the structure that will serve as its headquarters. The total expenditure for this project is estimated at $523 million. The highly efficient triple-glazed glass finish of the Varsow Tower reduces its solar heat gain, while rainwater is collected to be used for irrigation. The skyscraper has received the Bream Green Building Standard for its relative energy efficiency. It has also received a Bream Outstanding Rating as a consequence of energy-saving techniques incorporated into the design and engineering. Varsow Tower will also give space to a variety of startup businesses and local and international corporations. Large spans and 3-meter ceiling heights on floor plates are advantageous for open-plan office operations. The building's lobby has 14-meter tall ceilings and leads guests to restaurants and retail establishments that are open to the public. The Central Railway Station can be reached directly from this peculiar complex, which has been referred to as a city inside a city, and is conveniently situated close to Warsaw's main transportation hub. There will be an underground connection to Warsaw Central Station under the skyscraper. An urban room located in the middle of the plaza serves as a meeting place for both public and private areas. 
The general public, along with the residents, can sit on the benches and enjoy an extraordinary outside view via the transparent walls of the area. The tower's top levels contain public spaces, with a restaurant and bar located on the 46th, 47th and 48th floors respectively. Above all this, a landscaped terrace bar will house 16 trees and is planned to serve as the city's highest garden. Additionally, the Vaso Tower will have an observation floor 230 meters above the ground. The public has direct access from the ground to the top of the building via two panoramic elevators. The building also has its own viewing platform on level 53 and a parking lot with room for a thousand vehicles. The tower is anticipated to be buzzing with activity and will feature exceptional rooftop public spaces. It will serve as a hub for local and foreign businesses. Magnificent views of the capital town will be available from the tower's observation deck, along with modernizing the neighborhood. Chaminalia Street will also get new pavements and streetlights. By the beginning of 2022, the building will be complete with signs, benches, trees, and flora. Since the tower is one of the highest structures in Europe, safety was an important component of the project. The team added fire safety elements such as water spray systems, hydrant systems, smoke extraction, and the air compensation needed for the smoke extraction process. In addition to an internal wireless communication network that has been authorized by the fire authorities, the building also has a pressurized system to ensure that residents may evacuate safely. Additionally, a thunderstorm early warning system is also available in this building. To minimize the core space, the team of workers carefully planned the mist and HVAC system installations. The completion of the Varso Tower is significant for the city of Warsaw. As highlighted by Jaroslav Kajawa, the project principal at Borough Hapold said, Varso Tower is a unique building in many respects and requires a comprehensive, multidisciplinary approach. The tower's top, which which has a spire, technical sections, a cafe, viewing terraces, lifts, and other amenities, corresponds to the character of Warsaw's Old Town and offers breathtaking views of the Vistula River, the famed Palace of Culture and Science, and other landmarks. The project represents a crucial turning point in the growth of one of Europe's most interesting towns. Varsow Tower serves as a backdrop for the revitalization of Warsaw's downtown area and represents the city's future vision. The tower offers top-notch commercial space, but it also serves as a showcase for Poland as one of the tallest and most energy-efficient structures in the area. Do tell us your views about the Varsow Tower project in the comments section. If you have reached this far, like the video, subscribe to our channel, and press the notification bell so you will not miss any future updates. See you in another video. Until then, take care.